My name is Vahid right. Chitos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. I'm doing fantastic. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. I am Galadriel Grace, and I'm tuning in from Kentucky in uh, the U.S. So here I am. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's dive into it. I got some questions for you. What is... All right. Can you tell us what's the difference between marketing and branding? Yes, there's a big difference between marketing and branding. Um, branding is whenever um, somebody is trying to make a name for themselves, whenever they're like their face, their logo, they're um, trying to put themselves out there and make their mark. Um, marketing is more whenever you're promoting advertising and things like that. So, Why do entrepreneurs need to know both? Because you need to do both in order to be successful. Um, there's a lot. But I feel like more and more of entrepreneurs, they're like, they're good at one. I see a lot of people branding themselves, but not that much marketing. But then I see a lot of people heavily marketing, not branding themselves. Yes, they go hand in hand. I mean, in order to uh, have a good marketing plan, you have to have a good brand to back it up. So yeah, there's a lot involved in both of it. Um, press releases and things like that go with marketing, but your what your what your marketing is the brand. So whenever you have somebody's face or somebody's product, you're promoting and marketing their brand or product. So yeah. <laughs> Why is it, now which one is more which one brings in more more income? It's more of, uh, I suppose, the marketing and the promotion. But at the same time, if you have a good, solid brand, then you can, you know, marketing's a lot easier. The bigger your brand is, the easier marketing is. But then at the same time, you have companies like, you know, say Coca-Cola, um, if they, you know, quit marketing or promoting, well, they, they would kind of go downhill. I mean, even though they have a good, solid brand. So you need to continuously do both. How does an entrepreneur start learning? Where do, where do I start? Because if you go on YouTube and just put branding or, or marketing, there'll be like 1.5 billion, if not trillions of videos that are going to be there. How do I start? How do you start? Well, <laughs> um, you just... And, and let me tell you why I asked that question. It's because, it's, it's because a lot of individuals going through COVID-19, they need to get themselves out there a lot more than they did before. Maybe they were doing events, maybe marketing, maybe they were doing the traditional way of marketing, but now it's changed. Now we got to look at different avenues. So marketing and branding is more important. But then if they were an employee and they just got into the online game, they need to start from somewhere. Yes, yeah, social media is a good place to start. Um, building things up on social media is definitely a good place to start. Um, you need to it's good to hire a professional to, you know, even if you don't, you know, whenever you have your profiles and stuff that you're looking at, you have your Facebook profile, you have your um, Instagram, you have um, Twitter and LinkedIn and everything like that. Um, if you have somebody that knows what they're doing, that can write those things for you and they know what they're doing with SEO and uh, the ad copy and things, that helps a big, great deal. That's, yeah. That is awesome. So here's my other question for you. When you're doing branding and when you're doing marketing, how important is it to get really clear on your message? Because there are a lot of companies out there that put a lot of money behind their marketing, but sometimes I feel like they confuse people. How does an entrepreneur go get clear on what their message is and what they want to put out there? How do, we, how do you fine tune that? Well, that's where you go and you find yourself a good coach or a mentor and somebody to work with that can really help you define that because there's a lot of people that that's a really difficult thing. It is, it's very difficult to streamline what you're doing. Um, I myself even have difficulty with that because I work with both authors and business owners. So everything goes hand in hand, but at the same time, I have to make sure that I've, I've you know, cleared, clearly defined what I do. So yes, that's, it's good to hire people to do, help you do that, coaches and things like that. What's Absolutely. what is one of? I mean, are code are authors easy people to deal with? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Sometimes they are. Some I have had. I've been blessed with some really good authors. Um, 
some really know what they want. Um, they're the ones that are the best to work with. People that know what they want, they're, they have their, their book is ready, they're ready to go. And they just wanna sell their book. And you can go in with them and you can just say, okay, well here, let's put you out here and do all your press releases and everything. And it's, it's so much easier. But whenever you have an author that they don't really have their book together, they're not even sure which direction they're going with their story, you know, and things like that, it, that makes it very difficult. So you do have to guide them and help them to define, you know, where they want to go. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if we're going to debate, I would say, why would I want to come to you if I already know what I want? Most of the time I well, want to be a famous person when I come to you, you know? Yes. Well, that's why people come to me actually is because they, they do know what they want. And that makes it a lot easier for them too, because then they can say, okay, here, this is what I want. And I write the press releases and I put together their media kits and things like that. So it is a lot easier that way. Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. So, okay. So what is, so explain to people what press releases are. What, what is that? What, what does that mean? Okay. Press release is whenever um, somebody takes and professionally writes um, like a news story about your company, your business, your book and then sends it out to newspapers and stuff like that. Um, companies should do this at least two to four times a year, regularly. Um, and if they don't have anything, have any news that they should, you know, they should create news. If they're giving away like a charity event or um, they, they have a contest or something like that, that should be put out in a press release and it helps expand their brand and expand their business. And yeah, they should be doing that two to four times a year, at least. All the time. So, so we're definitely. saying each press release has a lifespan of three to four months? Yeah, for the most part. But um, a lot of press releases, they, they can have an indefinite um, lifespan. Um, if it's something that's published in a magazine or something like that, especially if a magazine picks it up or if it's on, you know, it gets into a big news story, it can, it can be lifetime benefit. That is that, awesome. So. That is awesome. How important is it for entrepreneurs to figure these things out? Like, well, let me rephrase the question. When you work with business owners, what are the common challenges that you see, the top two common issues that you see that they face the most in getting themselves out there? Um, that's a lot of it is they don't know how. That's a big one, is they don't know where to start. They don't know how. Um, that's really the big one is not knowing how or no, knowing how to use social media, not knowing how to do a website or things like that, um, not knowing how to write a press release or, you know, that's really, they need a plan is, is that's a lot of it. They need to and that's what they plan. need you for. And then you put a plan in place for them. Yeah, I can help put a plan in place and media kits and things like that. Yeah. That um, is awesome. How can they find you? Uh, my website is galadrielgrace.com and I'm also on Instagram and I'm, I usually, I'm mainly on Twitter. That's actually where I'm at a lot. So, Yeah, I'm not a big Twitter fan because you have a certain limited amount of characters that you can do and I never want to calculate the characters that I want to. Freedom of speech should not have any minimum characters, but that's, well, we I will agree. not. Go. <laughs> I do agree with not, that, but. <laughs> but they have to limit it. I, I understand that. That, that it does make sense yeah. but listen i appreciate you taking the time and being here this morning definitely i'm going to talk to you offline because i have some ideas i want to bounce those off you and then you give me some suggestions and then hopefully we could do more videos because i think pr is very very important especially for brands mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and individuals that are getting into our online game so that's a very very important topic that we need to cover up all right um, can I also uh, mention too, if anybody wants to send me, um, they can send me a message here on Instagram or send me an email for my website and I can send them a free report on helping get their business online or if they're, you know, needing to get started or anything like that. So that definitely, definitely. I mean, we'll have it on the video and then send me the info too so I can pass it on. I know a few people that are going to use your services too. All right. <laughs> Thank Grand you. Deal. Talk to you soon. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.